some oversized things, so best believe I got some oversized dreams uh, the Tattoos in your skin the Cocaine with your friends Go to church on a Sunday Tell me that God is a woman I say God is a woman Thought the praying would make it better But I swear to God I'm just as lost as ever Thought the bottle would hold me over It still hurt me just as bad when I got sober Everyone around me's found a way to let it go But I can't help but focus on the things I can't control all the darkness in my mind Pain that I can't leave behind I know there's a silver line that I can't see All the cold and sleepless nights Running out of ways to fight I know there's a morning light in my reach If I keep buying time I stop going out to bars, I quit smoking Thought that giving that all up would keep me going I got over people pleasing I quit falling into love that had no meaning I could search forever for a peace I'll never know But I can't help but focus on the things I can't control All the darkness in my mind Pain that I can't leave behind I know there's a silver line that I can't see all the cold and sleepless nights Running out of ways to fight I know there's a morning light in my reach If I keep buying time There's a storm inside my dreams I'm still standing on to feet Let the current When the water gets too deep All the darkness in my mind Pain that I can't leave behind I know there's a silver line that I can't see All the cold and sleepless nights Running out of ways to fight I know there's a morning light in my reach If I keep buying time It's been a week, but it feels so much longer And knowing that you're not alone makes it harder They say to wait as long as it takes But you didn't wait You're over there posting pictures beside her I'm still here learning how to live without you It's not that easy, it's hard to believe That you're over me Tell me, is it real love? Or is she just a shortcut? What is up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my little cozy corner here on the internet. You have officially stepped into my visual diary. Welcome to another entry from your girl. We are now in the month of April, so it's been a freaking minute since my last one. But yeah, you guys, today is March 9th. We just started a brand new week. Happy Tuesday. It is currently, it's pretty late in the afternoon. It's Oof, got kind of tongue-tied right there, but it is 322, you guys, angel numbers. Okay, yay, we've got the positive vibes, positive energies coming through. Let's shake the negativity. Let's shake the small dick energy. If you are new here, you're probably like, what the? The revving of the engines, I just cannot stand it. The only ones who get a pass is people on motorcycles. And they're just, 
the small dick energy is everywhere but anyways that is not what today's video is about what is up you guys today's vlog is a little bit of a hodgepodge a little bit of everything because i'm combining footage from my mom's visit a few days after and then today the lighting's changing up on me i honestly cannot tell if it looks like crap or not it probably does um you guys know how much the lighting changing really does bother me like it bothers the uh, not today you see what this says not today i don't have time for it i truly don't so we're just gonna have to roll with it because i refuse to let something so small annoy me i'm just glad the sun's out okay because it's been rainy the last few days ever since my mom left truly my mom actually flew in from vegas and landed in bellingham march 15th so again we're going back she got here around 2 p.m you guys we had the best freaking time <laughs> guys I'm here is that her oh no oh there's my mom <gasps> It's like she never left. Like we didn't skip a beat, not for a second. And honestly, that's how it should be. And yeah, we just had the best time. Drove down memory lane, literally. We drove by a few of our old houses. We had the best food. Not only did we treat ourselves to crumble cookie, but we had chicken strips and fries, like my absolute favorite. It will be to the day I die. And then my mom ended up taking me to this amazing wing spot up in Bellingham you guys the best wings I have ever had hands down and my mom was telling me that and I was like yeah okay girl like calm down calm down no for real for real best place k-pop in Bellingham I'm so beautiful without you now my skin glows and it shines like glue I'm pretty without you Pretty without you Pretty without you Pretty without you I get my beauty sleep without you No more nicotine turning my hands blue I'm pretty without you was incredible like I still think about them till this day and it's like my new favorite thing it's gonna be extremely hard for me to not stop there every time I go up to Bellingham like you guys they are that freaking good like I mentioned in my last vlog me and my mom didn't really have any set plans that's what we did on Saturday and then on Sunday we went to the Seattle outlet malls I'm so beautiful without you now my nails can grow and I bought new shoes I'm pretty without you lot of like cute stuff but 
there wasn't necessarily anything that we had to have. And then we ended up going to the gym a couple times. I'm allowed to bring a guest for free every day if I wanted to. And so that was really cool to be able to take her because you guys know I'm always going by myself. So it was nice to like switch it up a little, keep people on their toes. And then on Monday, we just kind of hung around here and then she left kind of early that following Tuesday. Um, but yeah, I had the best time. I freaking miss her and I just, want them to move back so bad but I know that's probably not gonna happen but yeah that's a little recap on my mom's trip I wish I would have pulled out the camera for more memory sake but honestly like I was just truly being present and stoned which caused me to forget to film things like trying the weed vapes with you guys and things like that completely spaced about it um but it's all good like it's no worries I got the footage that I got so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of my mom. Like I said, it's Tuesday, April 9th, and your girl's been in a little bit of a funk. Probably no surprise there because I've really not been posting consistently, like, whatsoever. And I apologize about that. You guys have heard it before. This is nothing new. And I'm starting to get aggravated. I've been struggling to do all of the things. Waking up early, my eating habits are like crap. I'm literally all over the place. There's times when I have really good days. There's times where I have really bad days. And then for the most part, I'm like somewhere in the middle. But yeah, you guys, there's just a lot of self-sabotage, a lot of excuses, and just a lot of lazy girl energy. It didn't start off that way, but now we're getting, now we're getting into the lazy energy. Like, okay, stop complaining and fix it you know what i mean and i'm at the point where i'm at the tough love stage and i love that for me because that's when i know that i'm starting i'm i'm, I'm getting i'm getting there we're we're gonna get there I truly just want to move in silence share my vlogs like i normally do and you guys will see the change without me having to say anything. Does that make sense? So we're not gonna get into much of that today. I just kinda wanted this vlog to be like a catch up. So that's what we're doing today. I'm headed to get groceries, had a little bit of a late start. It's been like that all week, okay? I've tried to film this portion of the video days ago but there's just been things happening today it was the fridge and i'm just grateful that i get to call someone to fix that and not have to pay for it myself that is definitely a plus side to renting for sure there's a glare up here and a glare right here it's because my camera is probably filthy my lens and i need to clean it um but yeah i'm going to stop talking we need to get a move on if you're new here what is that my name is kayla i am 34 years old be 35 in june which is actually insane I live in washington state married we have a fur baby named chloe she is my literal everything i'm a productive stoner wellness that girl but not currently we're ha we're in a little bit of a funk we're trying to get out of it so if that's something you are into consider subscribing before you leave give this video a thumbs up get your little um uh, uh vape pipes whatever they are i never know what to freaking call them however you like to toke grab it smoke with me chill out relax if you're not grab a coke zero a snack whatever you gotta do get comfy and enjoy the vlog <laughs> So we have, baby. Would you let it go? In the tops in my hands. Tell me what I got to borrow. In the city all alone, no, don't wait for me to come home, baby. With money and the fame, just for the name, but that just ain't me. Rock oversized T-shirt, stitches coming out the seams. Got on some oversized dips, so best believe. Got some oversized dreams. Okay, so it's definitely been a minute since your girl's worn a baseball cap, a little hat, or whatever. 
Um, I've worn a beanie a time or two, but not a hat. I'm loving it. It's cute and everything, but it's really not doing your girl any favors when it comes to like filming and lighting because it makes my, see, where'd they go? Where'd my eyes go? It makes it so dark. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, it's cute. Not today. You get the vibes, but I don't know. I'm just... Hmm, not sure how I feel about it, but I have a little confession. You girls take a lot of extra bags from Walmart without... <gasps> oh, okay, I did not mean to take that many, holy crap, but I use these to throw Chloe's poop in when I'm cleaning the litter box and then throw them away. Wow. I just really told him I, I normally don't take this much. I promise you. Well, maybe I do. I don't know, but wow. I just really told him myself there. But if you want a little hack or a trick or, you know, a baddie on a budget and you have a kitty or whatever, th there you go. Um, but yeah, you guys just got done with Walmart and I actually ended up running into one of my old regulars for my old job. I haven't seen him in so long. It was so nice seeing him and yeah, it was really sweet. What the hell was that? Oh, my, my tripod is back there, but damn, I don't know how it got caught in between my seat because I was reaching for my about to hit this really quick. Okay. Someone just parked next to me. Not that I care. It's just rude. You messed up my shot. Anywho, I'm going to share with you guys a few of the things that I got and then try a new flavor of popcorn. So I tried the pumpkin spice version with you guys during the fall time. Amazing. 10 out of 10. So good. I hope they bring it back next fall. Then I get the big, huge bags from Costco. I have a bag in my back seat as we speak, but it's too far. Oh, maybe it's not too far. It's not huge big bag it's the himalayan gold with buttery flavored coconut oil you guys but i've never tried the himalayan sweetness is what it's called i've never tried their kettle corn version so yeah we're gonna try that and then i'm currently parked outside of petco because miss chloe is almost out of her catnip let's get into it i'm feeling really chatty today I don't know why I just I just really am haven't eaten all day so let's get into this popcorn uh, I cannot it smells really good you want to look yeah smells really good girl girl they've done it again if you have not tried the brand Lesser Evil, you need to hop on it. I wish I had a clip to close that, but that's okay. So let's get into what I picked up at Walmart. Just a few things. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I got a makeup item, a hair item, and then a body hair item. Where is that? At? Where'd it go? Oh, that's what fell. Not my tripod. I'll get that in a second. First thing I got is the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Dry Shampoo. And then I got a makeup product. Pretty basic and boring, but a must-have in my opinion, and that's primer. I love this stuff, and it is so affordable. I don't know. There's just something about this. I always go back to it, and I've spent a lot of money on primers. Okay, so one last thing, but I got to go grab it from the back seat because that's what fell. Restocked on this body scrub, Tree Hut, TikTok put me on. And I feel like if you see something a ton, it must be good, right? Like it's not just aesthetic. I love the first one that I bought. Derek loves it too, which is why I had to restock because he started using mine, but he takes huge, big gulps and his hands are like, he's just a big boy. So he just took like a lot of it. I took a shower this morning and was like, wow, it's gone. Like that's not, okay, okay. I got the watermelon tree hut. It smells 
so good i don't want to make a mess in my car because as you can see so you can go in and smell all the scents they carry it at walmart they've got it at target they've got it at all the places even ulta and stuff and yeah that's all i got from walmart that i felt was interesting enough to show you guys i'm gonna run in here to petco i'll do a little bit of b-roll and stuff after this but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video like if you did what's in my bag is coming and things like that so stay tuned subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Tattoos in my skin. You faded on the weekend. Go to church on Sunday. Cause God is a woman. So God is a woman. So God is a woman. So, got Miss Chloe her catnip. Got in my car. And you guys, I didn't even make it 15 seconds down the parking lot before I notice that I have this bag sitting right next to me. No, 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 no. This needs to go in the fucking trunk. And now that I'm realizing, I completely, wow. I have to go back to Walmart. I completely forgot to get dinner. Not that I don't have other options, but Derek specifically requested Red Baron oven crust pizza. Not oven crust. Brick oven crust. Brick oven. Red Baron brick oven crust pizza tonight. He requested that and he wants me to get two for just tonight. Normally I make one pizza and that's enough for us and the next day. But no, he, he called me and was like, yeah, I'm hungry. And that was earlier on my way to the grocery store because I was like, what do you want? Let me know. But I forgot the pizza, you guys. He would be, like, I cannot be like, oh, I forgot it. Like, I'm just gonna, no. That's what he, yeah, I've gotta go back. I've got to go back. <sighs> that sucks. But we've got our handy dandy pen here to save the day. But yeah, I gotta put this in the back. Well, no, I, I'm gonna enjoy this on the way to Walmart and then I'm gonna put it in the back. So, I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I was about to hop on the freeway because it's right there, but I have to go to Walmart first. So I'm gonna enjoy this for a little bit. God is a my cards loud I'm gonna turn it off yeah okay there we go oh the Goodwill's open now okay we're gonna have to go see what these prices be be like not today but I'm so curious to what their prices are like because the one over up 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 where I used to live up I act like it's far away it's not it's they are ass raping people up at the Goodwill. Okay, not literally, but like, it's, the prices are insane. The keys are right here. No, my keys are right in my purse. Why are you doing that? We are now in the month of April, so it's been, sir.
I get it, you're on a motorcycle, but not today. I'm trying to film. Take up all the fucking room, motherfucker. Damn. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so I gotta keep it real. Yes, your girl is filming an aesthetic shot of these yummy ass, delicious ass chocolate chip cookies. But, but, we also got some Christmas trees because, yes, your girl still had quite a few. There's some over there too. Quite a few of some Christmas trees left and they just need to be cooked. So, we've got a mixture tonight. Chloe's a little jealous. Are you jealous? Hmm? No! Damn, this fucking sun is blinding the fuck out of me. Holy fuck. Long time no see. How you been? Hey, that that's up to him. I asked for a raise and he refused to, well not refused, but he's like, I can do a quarter. Oh, wow. I was like, okay, that's all I needed to know. Uh, what an asshole. I mean, I don't have to work. I told him that the day he hired me. So, he still calls me. I mean, but fuck no, fuck no. Not even that. It's just he's just different. I learned to tolerate him and stuff, and it's just not worth it. So, but yeah, nice seeing you too. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Bye. Have a good one. Well, I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to like wellness health and things like that definitely don't look for me for guidance because i have no clue what i'm doing i'm just hanging in there like the rest of you guys dude they are gonna fuck their engine up oh my gosh the small dicks are just really trying to penetrate today they are just really trying to get it in there and they just cannot they cannot it's been a week, but it feels so much longer And knowing that you're not alone makes it harder They say to wait as long as it takes But you didn't wait You're over there posting pictures beside her I'm still here learning how to live without you It's not that easy, it's hard to believe That you're over me Tell me, is it real love? Or is she just a shortcut? Was being